Chapter 7 Brewing Equipment and Supplies When it comes to brewing kombucha, there are a lot of options that you can find on the market today. Choosing the right supplies will make a huge difference or whether or not you are able to successfully brew kombucha at home. Here, we're going to outline the basic supplies that you need to get started to help you set up your system right the first time. Container This is easily the most important part of your kombucha brewing operation and you can't make kombucha without something to ferment it in. The material of the container is what we'll look at first. You never want to brew kombucha in plastic because it can leach harmful chemicals into your kombucha, crystal because it contains lead, or metal because it will react with the acids. You could use ceramic or porcelain containers for kombucha, as long as they are food grade, since many decorative pieces contain lead and other harmful chemicals. However, the best kombucha container is glass. It's non-reactive, safe and relatively cheap. Plus, it's easy to find glass containers in a variety of sizes so you can brew as much or as little kombucha as you want with a few containers. Container size is the next thing that you'll need to consider. You'll not only need enough space to make enough kombucha to make it through the next brewing cycle, but you'll also need to be able to mix the ingredients at the proper ratios. Since every batch will take the same amount of time no matter the size, the smallest container we'll recommend is half a gallon. The one gallon is the most popular. The surface area of the container is what will affect the brewing time, with larger surface areas brewing kombucha more quickly than smaller surface areas, so you'll want to find a happy medium. If the kombucha ferments too quickly, it will have a more sour taste. The best size surface area for brewing kombucha is 5 to 6 inches. When choosing a jar with a spigot, be sure to follow the same material recommendations as the spigot will come into contact with the kombucha and using a plastic or metal spigot can cause the same problems as using a plastic or metal container. Fortunately, there are plenty of spigots to choose from that will work for kombucha brewing. Jar Covering Covering your jar with the right material will keep out unwanted visitors like fruit flies and ants but will still allow the airflow needed for proper fermentation. You can secure your material with a rubber band. The best materials to use as a jar covering for your kombucha are coffee filters, tied with dish towels, butter muslin or even t-shirt material. Other supplies Some additional supplies that will help you with brewing kombucha but that aren't necessarily to get started include tea balls or reusable tea bags for brewing the tea, a food-grade plastic container that you can use to scope out the mother and baby scobies, sealable bottles for second brewing and storing finished kombucha, a funnel to help with bottling and a stick-on thermometer to keep track of the temperature of your brewing area. Now that we've learned about the equipment and supplies you need to brew your own kombucha, it's time to look at different ways to use kombucha as it's not just a drink.